Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to exit for loop or continue for loop in robot framework test automation. When developing automation scripts, in some cases you need to exit a for loop when a certain condition is satisfied. For example, you have a numbers from 0 to 9 in a collection. And you want to check if number 7 exists in the collection. So if the number exists, you exit the loop. And in other cases, if you want to check a pattern of numbers, let's say you have a numbers from 0 to 20, and you want to check if any number in the collection is even number. That means that when you loop over all numbers, if you divide any number by 2, if the remainder is 0, that means that number is even number. So in this case, exiting for loop does not work. So you need to use continue for loop to check next numbers in the collection. Let's talk about exit for loop and exit for loop if keyword. Normally, for loops are executed until all the loop values have been iterated or a keyword used inside the loop fails. If there is a need to exit the loop earlier, robot framework built-in keywords exit for loop and exit for loop if can be used to accomplish the goal. In this test, We loop over numbers from 0 to 10. And if any number equals to 7 during the iteration, we terminate the loop or we exit the loop. So let's look at the automation script. First line for index in range 10. This will generate a loop from 0 to 9. Second line is, inside the for, we log index and run keyword if index equal to 7 and exit for loop. And outside the for loop, we use the log keyword log for loop is over. So in this automation script, if index equal to 7, the loop will be over. Now let's look at the second test case, continuing for loop. In addition to exiting a for loop prematurely, it is also possible to continue to the next iteration of the loop before all keywords have been executed. In this script, we loop over numbers from 0 to 20 and if any number is not divided by 2, that means if any number is odd number, we continue for loop for the next number. And if that number is divided by 2 or its even number, we add the even number to the collection. So let's look at the test script. We created a list even numbers and second line for index in range 0 to 21. And we get the remainder division value or the expression value evaluate 
index mode by 2. This will get the remainder of the expression. We log the division value. Continue for loop if division value not equal to 0. That means if any number is odd number or not even number, the loop will check the next number. And if any number is even number, it will be added to the list. In the last line, log list will return the total item is and its content. Now let's execute the test. We click on the run tab. And as you see on the project, we have many test cases. In order to run only the two test cases, I have added a tag for exit loop and the continue loop. So in the run command, only run tests with these tags, continue loop and exit loop. Please remember that when you have multiple tags for test cases, you need to separate them by comma. So let's click on start. In the console output, two tests total, two passed, two critical tests, two passed, and three log files were generated. And let's look at the uh, console output. In the first test case, exiting for loop. So the loop is iterated from 0 to 7 and it is terminated at 7 because the condition is run keyword if index equal to 7 exit for loop. For the second test case continue for loop let's look at the final collection. So in the even numbers collection we have total item is 11 and content is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 18, 20. All even numbers have been added to the collection. Now let's look at the actual log file. So first test case is exiting for loop. So for index in range 10, it means this generates a loop from 0 to 9. And at index equal to 7, because run keyword if equal to 7, exit for loop. The documentation is run is the given keyword with a given argument if condition is true. Because this condition is true, the keyword exit for loop is executed. And the final line log for loop is over message is displayed here. And exit for loop the message is exiting for loop altogether. Now let's look at the second test case, continue for loop. So we created a collection, empty collection list, even numbers, and it's empty. So we loop from 0 to 21, it means 0 to 20. Let's look at the 0 and 1, and we see the difference. Under 0, because 0 divided by 2, remainder is 0. 
in the log the zero is logged and continue for loop if division not equal to zero because this condition is not met so that means the next keyword will be executed append to list even numbers so zero will be added to the collection so now let's look at the next line index equal to one so in the index since one divided by two the remainder is one because one does not equal to zero this condition is met so the next iteration will start it does not execute the keyword add to list now let's look at the number two number two two divided by two the remainder is zero so because this condition is not met so it continue within the loop so the number two is added to the collection even numbers by using this pattern all iteration is over now let's look at the final list in the log list we have total items 11 and it contains the following items 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 so all even numbers have been added to the even numbers collection as explained in this video tutorial you can use exiting for loop or continue for loop in robot framework test automation to exit or to continue a loop for a given condition for documentation or some other examples you can check out the robotframework.org website or for more examples please visit www.seleniummaster.com website thanks for watching